Hello friends, my name is Hannah and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Defence Class Hogwarts Moment. So this is a set that came out this year, 2022, and it's part of the Hogwarts Moment book series, uh, of which there have been six overall, and this is one of two for this year. So if you're interested and you want to get one of them but you're not sure which one to get from this year, uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a review of which one is worthwhile of the 2022 release but let's talk about the defense class of which we get three minifigures uh, plus a little like micro figure um, and a whole bunch of fun accessories so let's go straight into the review Okay, so let's begin by having a look at the book as a whole. Now, they've definitely gone for a darker Defence Against the Dark Arts. I think Lupin would have been my personal choice, but that's because he's my favourite Defence Against the Dark Arts professor. I understand why they've gone for Moody, but it does make it quite dark, which Lego doesn't normally go for. So we've got something a little bit interesting here. So here is what the book actually looks like. It's a very... A don't know if it's black or dark navy I think it is black so on the cover we've got this gold foiled Hogwarts which is a printed aspect and you can see it's sort of like shine there's my window up there um, and we do have this on every Hogwarts moment with just some different things in the panels so we've got um, that looks like a staff as in like what you'd stick a vampire with we've got a Lego dark mark which is hilarious a hog for the hog's head, I, I don't know. Uh, some crossed ones, it's in a jewel, a um, shield and a spider, which I guess references uh, that moment in Order of the Phoenix, no, nope, Goblet of Fire, sorry, where he kills the spider in front of Neville. We've got the regular Hogwarts crest, and on the side, we've got this nice spine with a sticker of the crossed ones, which is pretty nice. On the back, it's just plain, although we do have these jumpers, so you can connect it to other books. So before we have a look inside, let's have a look at all the minifigures. So first of all, we have Hermione and I really like her hair here. It makes her look a lot older and more mature. We've got the Gryffindor Hogwarts torso and her legs which move, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, like I said, I really like her hair. I think the colour is really accurate. I like her face as well. We've got those freckles there. And if we take off her hair, she does have another face, which looks pretty accurate angry and we've got the back of the torso which has got that cloak effect which is hidden when her hair is on and yeah I think my hair is the favourite part of this I'm pretty sure we've seen these Hermione's before but you know I do, do love a Hermione I I don't know well she, she does have quite a big part in the defence um, set so I suppose that's why she has been included here she comes with a little book or the little book comes with a set um, and inside we have this dark mark and you can actually read it says the dark mark um, and it's got that sort of Lego dark mark again and I've put that with Hermione because obviously Hermione plus books um, <laughs> tends to go quite well together and I think that works really well so that is the first minifigure in the set the the next one that we have is an interesting choice in my opinion but I really do understand it once I thought about it for a bit and that is Neville Longbottom. Now he's got this really sort of strange face where he's sort of like biting his lip and you can see his teeth. I'm not a massive fan of his face on that side but on that side I'm not a massive fan of it either because he just, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of his face uh, either one to be honest but there we go I do think maybe having Neville even like smiling or something would have been better or looking like really scared because this just is not it for me I do like having a Neville figure um because I do think he actually has a quite a lot to do with defense against the dark arts um so it does make a lot of sense to me we've got the same torso that Hermione has actually no it's slightly different so this torso is open and Hermione's uh, as you can see has got a little tie and it is shut so you can see more of Neville's jumper um so those are the two hogwarts students and then we have our professor now our professor i think is great it is mad eye moody um so i'm going to take away some of his accessories so we've got the staff here and his polyjuice potion because obviously in the goblet of fire it's barty crouch pretending to be mad eye moody um now i really really love this minifigure he has such a great torso with all these different clasps and it goes down to his legs 
legs and we've even got that different color leg to show obviously where he's got the fake leg i just think he is great now if you take off his hair and turn around his head he becomes barty crouch jr and you do get another set of hair um to help transition him because obviously he is playing mad eye moody in this film i think i always think that's really weird because i was thinking oh moody's such a good character and then I'm like well most of moody that we know isn't actually moody so yeah there we go but anyway moody is such a great character like i said he comes with his little polyjuice potion and his staff but we haven't even had a look inside yet so let's have a look at the inside of the hogwarts moment <laughs> Okay, so here is the Hogwarts moment all set up. It's got a really interesting um, sort of form. Let's talk about all of the accessories first though. So here we have a little desk. It's pretty simple and we get a desk in most of these Hogwarts moments and we get two little chairs as well, which the characters can sit on. Really not that much to talk about there. We do have another desk. This is a teacher's desk. We get a little spider. Uh, I'm guessing the little spider ref uh, references when Moody kills that spider in front of Neville. So we do get a little spider and then we get this teacher's desk, which I do really like. So Moody can stand on that bit um, and there's just a nice little desk there. I think this one's really good. Then we get on to my two favourite accessories. So my first one is this board. So this chalkboard, which we've had in a few other sets, we tend to have a chalkboard. What I really love about this one though, is this one looks like how it did in the film. So we have the Moody written where he sort of scribbles it on in that chalk. Um, and he's written three unforgivable and one, two and three for the three unforgivable curses, which is uh, references that first lesson in Goblet of Fire. Um, and I really do like that there is that nod to the films this chalkboard is also really nice it's very detailed we've got this nice curly bits down here um and I, yeah i do think it's really nice and then my other favorite part of this is this trunk which obviously is the one where barty crouch keeps mad eye moody and we actually get a tiny micro figure in here which i don't even know if my camera is going to pick this up because it's so tiny and small uh, but as you can see he's sort of got this little pattern on his leg to show where he's meant to be missing his leg um this v-neck because he's in sort of like a v-neck jumper when he comes out of the box but I do really like that they've included that. It's a really nice little nod um, to the series. And this little trunk is pretty basic. We've seen it before, but it's pretty nice as well. So those are all of the accessories. Let's take them away and have a look at the rest of the build. So let's have a look at the rest of the moment then. So let's start over here where we've got a really nice faux glass. I absolutely love this. I think this is really cool. And a, again, a really nice nod to the film. Um, and we've got some little potions down here. Now this bit folds out and this bit folds in to close up the Hogwarts moment. Now, if we look at this side, we do have some nice parts. So we've got some, lot. we had lots of stickers in this set. So we've got some stickers over here. We've got this archway, um, some little eyes and a little fireplace. That's a spider there. And then it sort of opens to this side. Now, I, I do quite like this, but this bit doesn't bend. This bit doesn't bend out. So it's it like splits it in half and when you come over here sorry for the squeaking when you come over here you've just got these two stickers and some more stickers here so basically this side is whole just sticker elements with nothing really there you the stickers are really nice so we do have this one sort of like a cracked um glass jar we've got some more glass jars here we've got this random portrait i've got no idea who that is and this skull obviously references what's in the defense room and we've got these nice windows but this whole side is basically just stickers there's nothing really there all the action takes place over here now this is very different to the other hogwarts moments where we do tend to have something on like stuck to this side so this would be like stuck over here so i do like that they've tried to do something differently but i do think it does sort of suggest that all the play features are very much on this side like you could probably shut that up and have it kind of like that or i don't know maybe bend this and have a little triangle piece 
but yeah a lot of the play features are restricted to one side i'll just pop that off so let's talk about the rest of it then now the other thing with this is that it hides this little bone that's down here which is actually really hard to see but there is a tiny little bone down there and we do have some nice elements i do like that they have tried to change this sort of center panel but yeah i'm not sure how successful it is we do have this little cross hatch thing up here as well there's nothing behind that and this thing I don't, I don't know what that is it's a display thing and then we've got another sticker over here now one of my favorite pieces is actually hidden down here i'm going to see if i can get it out to show you i'm going to use this to pop it out i've just pulled off that faux glass again which is annoying i'm actually going to put that on here so i don't pop it off so this is one of my favorite elements this is a magnifying glass and i don't know if the camera is really going to show it but it actually is a proper magnifying glass like it, it actually works um let me see if i can magnify something let's magnify this so as you can see it is an actual magnifying glass it does actually work and i really like that i just wish it was easier to get to because it's sort of like smushed down here with this random goblet thing i can't even get that back in right now i'm just gonna pop it here for the moment oh for goodness sake you know what it's just gonna sit in the middle overall there's some really nice playable aspects to it um I just don't know how effective this panel is. I just feel like it's a waste of space. And I think there could be something there, even if this was drawn over here. And But then we wouldn't get the double-sidedness. So I think it's hard and these Hogwarts moments aren't going to please everyone. Um, but I do like how this bends. And this all just folds up like so. Oh, God. Breaking it now. So this bit all folds in. Folds in like that. And all the other accessories sort of like stack um, and fit really nicely in there so that is the defense hogwarts moment thank you guys so much for watching my video let me know what you think of this hogwarts moment defense class is this a set that you have is this one that you're interested in getting i'd really love to know your thoughts so drop them down in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like whilst you're at it <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I've got loads of Lego and Harry Potter content coming. And uh, yeah, we're here for a good time. Uh, I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye.